What time is it? Kindergarten and first grade, welcome back. Last week I read you When Clay Sings and we made a pinch pot. Well this week, your pinch pot has been cooked. It looks like an orange piece of glass. What I want to do is read you a story called The Pot That Wand Built. Today's story is The Pot That Wand Built by Nancy Andrews Goebel and pictures by David Diaz. Checked out from our very own Killarne Lakes Media Center. The Pot That Juan Built by Nancy Andrews Gobel and pictures by David Diaz. This is the pot that Juan built. These are the flames so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. These are the cows, all white and brown, that left manure all over the ground, that fueled the flames so sizzling hot, that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. This is the brush of hair from his head, that spread the paints all black and red, that colored the pot for all to admire, before it was baked in the cow manure fire, the crackling flame so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. These are the rocks of red and black brought down from the mountain on burrow back to make into paint all black and red spread with the brush of hair from his head that colored the pot for all to admire before it was baked in the cow manure fire. The crackling flame so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. This is the tool that's made out of bone that rubbed the pot until it shone and glittered and glowed and glistened and glimmered and gleamed and beamed and sparkled and shimmered to show off the paints all black and red spread with the brush of hair from his head that colored the pot for all to admire before it was baked in the cow manure fire, the crackling flames so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. Here is the tortilla, slap, slap, pat, pat, and the sausage of clay so slick and fat that became the pot, imagine that. In the wink of an eye, in the blink of a cat, before it was rubbed with a piece of bone, over and over until it's shown, to show off the paints all black and red, spread with the brush of hair from his head, that colored the pot for all to admire, before it was baked in the cow manure fire, the crackling flame so sizzling hot, that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. This is the clay all squishy and white, dug in the hills from morning till night to make the tortilla slap slap pat pat and the sausage of clay so slick and fat that became the pot imagine that in the wink of an eye and the blink of a cat before it was rubbed with a piece of bone over and over until it shone to show off the paints all black and red spread with the brush of hair from his head that colored the pot for all to admire before it was baked in the cow manure fire, the crackling flame so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan built. These are the ants that led the way and showed Juan a vein of special clay, the very best clay, all squishy and white, dug in the hills from morning till night, to make the tortilla slap, slap, pat, pat, and the sausage of clay so slick and fat that became the pot, imagine that, in the wink of an eye and the blink of a cat. Before it was rubbed with a piece of bone over and over until it shone, to show off the paints, all black and red, spread with the brush of hair from his head, that colored the pot for all to admire, before it was baked in the cow manure fire, 
the crackling flame so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot, the beautiful pot that Juan builds. This is the cock that crowed at dawn, that greeted the village and woke up Juan, to ride the range at break of day, gathering rocks and hunting for clay, the very best clay all squishy and white, dug in the hills from morning till night, to make the tortilla slap slap pat pat, and the sausage of clay so slick and fat, that became the pot imagine that, in the wink of an eye and the blink of a cat, before it was rubbed with a piece of bone, over and over until it shone, to show off the paints all black and red, spread with the brush of hair from his head, that colored the pot for all to admire before it was baked in the cow manure fire, the crackling flame so sizzling hot that flickered and flared and fired the pot. The beautiful pot that Juan built. All right, go paint your pot, kids. Now that we're done with the pot that Juan built, I'm going to pass back your pinch pots from last week, and I really don't have a lot of directions to give you. I'm going to pass out my egg carton full of paint. I'm going to give you a paintbrush and water, and you can paint your pinch pot however you want. Fill it with whatever designs you want. This is not a glaze that we're using, so this paint will wash off, so do me a big favor, don't eat any food out of it and don't drink anything out of it because you'll just be eating and drinking paint. That would be bad. When you're done, I'll give you a piece of free draw. We will let our pinch pots dry. After it's dry, we'll wrap it up and I will let you take it home. Here I am putting the finishing touches on mine, trying to make it as colorful as possible. Uh, that's it. I'm sure yours looks great. I can't wait to see it when it's done. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, last week's pro tip was to make sure that your transparency paper is computer printer safe or Xerox copier safe. Today's pro tip is to actually make sure that you have the right supplies. When we make art, I make sure that we've got more than enough glue sticks and I make sure that we've got more than enough markers. I want to make sure that I've got more than enough of everything that I need. So, follow me real quick. Ready? Wait right here, my closet's a mess. Here are two very old overhead projectors. In fact, most schools don't even have these anymore. I've had to ask other schools. So if one burns out, I've got another one ready to go, ready to back me up. These light bulbs are not easy to find. I've even got spare light bulbs ready to go. Where's the light bulb? I can switch light bulbs if one of those burns out. So my pro tip to you this week is make sure you've got plenty of what you will need to make whatever it is you're going to make. Okay, bye. Bonus points! Hello kindergarten, first grade, welcome back. Today I read you a book called The Pot That Juan Built and we painted our pots and took it home. That is based on a true story about an artisan named Juan Cazada. He is from a city called Marta Ortiz and he's taught his whole village how to make pots in the ancient ways that their ancestors did. What I want you to do is tell me what year was that book published? And maybe in doing a little research, you'll learn a little bit more about Juan Cazada and Mata Ortiz's pottery. Okay, see you.